Good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody. What is going on? Happy Saturday evening. Happy Saturday evening. Hey, everybody, it's your boy Epic Vision, and we're getting ready to do what we do best, and that's bringing you another edition of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. That's right, that's what we're playing. We're staying on the Hardcore bandwagon. We do know Season of Discovery Phase 3 is out, and uh, people are having a good time with that, but hey, your boy got that hardcore bug yeah that itch that still has not been scratched and I don't know if it ever will be until we get a level 60 in regular hardcore and then maybe a level 60 in self found hardcore and maybe a level 60 shaman right on the horde side yeah tonight we're playing the Alliance how's everybody doing man hey yesterday we streamed for a while last night and we had a stream early morning even before I started my professional job yeah man we brought it yesterday um, we had some good times yesterday, some heartbreaking times yesterday. Lore's level 42 druid died when he and I were playing together, attempting to scale the Altar of Zul, yeah. Or the Temple of Zul to get to the Altar of Zul, and uh, it was bad. It was bad. I went back and I watched it. Um, put a full highlight clip out there because I felt that it deserved it. From when we started to when he died, my reaction, his reaction, um, all the love that all of you sent him in the various chats yeah your boys live on YouTube right now on Twitch and on kick and uh, man he got love from everywhere shout out to uh, JR and Bruce because what we ended up doing is we ended up creating new night elf characters myself and Laura Bruce joined us JR joined us and uh, we did a little bit of leveling hey thank you for the follow Mark will thank you for the follow baby appreciate that man I appreciate that big time thank you so much and um yeah, we had, it wasn't really like redemption, but it was more like camaraderie, and um, I thought that was super cool. Uh, JR actually wanted to know if we were going to do a leveling session tonight. I messaged Lore. Um, I haven't heard back, so not sure, but um, in the meantime, we're going to do what we've been doing, and that's sliding down into the lower left-hand corner of the screen, your favorite place and mine, and here she is, Epic Light, um, level 46, yeah. Yeah, it's a little bittersweet logging into her right now. But I think that's um, what we need to do. We need to continue on our progression. Oh, hey, you know what I forgot to do? You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do this. Got the Red Bull. Yeah. I've been wanting this all day. And we got the guava juice. The guava juice. Yeah, if you haven't had OG Red Bull in guava, give it a shot. What does guava taste like? To me, guava is very much like pineapple but not as acidic, and it's, it's it's much smoother. It's a little thicker, so the viscosity is a little more. Maybe a, like a cross between a pineapple and a strawberry is probably how I would equate guava. Yeah. What's going on, JR? Welcome to the chat, baby. Thanks for hanging out, man. Yeah, yeah, we're going to go into an overtime session tonight. Anytime after 10 p.m., my time is overtime. Back to the lower left-hand corner of the screen, epic light. Let's jump into the video game. Hope everybody's Saturday's been good. And we had a list of stuff to do, and uh, we got some of it done, Un um, including your boy squaring up with Uncle Sam. Yeah, I did my taxes. Today was the latest in the calendar year I have ever done my taxes. I think they're actually due on Monday. Today was Saturday. Actually, I was getting a little nervous. You know why? Because normally I have all of my stuff, the paper that they send, you know, like your W-2. We're talking about in the United States, for those of you who might be watching internationally. You know, all the stuff your employer sends, the stuff from your home mortgage, your bank accounts, all that nonsense. You usually have, like, a nice little stack of it. I couldn't find it. And I couldn't find it when I looked again, and I still couldn't find it. I'm like, oh my god, where is this stuff? And on my mind, I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to be okay because I think I can log into a lot of these various institutions and download what I need. But uh, Mrs. Epic Vision had it, man. She came through clutch. <laughs> And uh, there was two websites I did have to visit to get stuff, but the main stuff we had, and uh, I got it done pretty quick. So I uh, I use TurboTax, man. I've been using it for for decades, honestly. And I know you can do it for free, and there's cheaper ways to do it, but you know, for the little bit of money that I spent today, not that I wanted to, it's far cheaper than taking it anywhere. And um, literally, probably like 15 minutes after I was done. Federal already accepted. So, 
So we're good to go there, man. Just gotta wait for state to accept. Altar of Zool, look how painful this is, man. The Altar of Zool quest, that's where we died. Go check out that clip, give it some love. Um, and then all the segments from yesterday are out there too, so I, I broke them down. Running her, running her the second time after the encoder crashed, and then um, with the four of us playing together. So all those are out there, they're all broken down, hopefully into the right uh, time segments. And uh, you guys can go ahead and uh, check those out when you have uh, when you have some time. But yeah, I'm kind of at a loss as what to do here. Without lore, like, man. I, th I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to Tenaris. I feel like Tenaris is the move. We got the platinum discs. Um, actually, we need, let's do some cooking first. Let's do some cooking first. Tender, so we need some soothing. have that much to cook, honestly. Two soothing spices. Open for business. Alright, let's do it. Light. Our final curtain rod came, so if you guys have been uh, watching the stream at all recently within the last week or so, I ordered curtain rods, curtains, and uh, sheer curtains for the boys' bedroom, my daughter's bedroom, and our bedroom. And our curtain rod came today. That was the last piece. Amazon didn't have the one um, that we wanted, so I ended up having to order a different one from Home Depot that's very similar. That came today. Um, you know what else came today is my uh, my Unify, my Unify uh, Cloud Gate Cloud Gateway Ultra. Yeah, your boy's gonna take the Ubiquity Plunge for his home network. And uh, I'm doing some stuff for work with it too, and, and work is gonna be, um, I'm gonna get some stuff from work to build the network. But I'm gonna end up having two networks here. I'm gonna have a lab network, which all of my professional career stuff and the streaming stuff is gonna be on. And then this is gonna go to um, help build the home network for all of my internet of things, security cameras, all of the TVs, all, this, all the rest of the family tablets and whatnot. So that came today too. Those are hard to get. You gotta kinda watch when they, when they when they're available and you gotta snatch them up right away, so... Now I need a fire. No one's got a fire going. What's going on, people? I need a fire. Go ahead and buy some, uh... some wood. And Red Wolf made, I think we need a hot spice. Hot spice. Let me just double check. Hot spice, yeah. So hot it hurts. I think he sells wood. I need the wood, homie. Give me, give me your wood, your simple wood. You're a simple man. All right. I guess world buffs went out earlier today, but I missed them. I, I, I remembered earlier in the morning that there was gonna be world buffs, and then someone actually just asked, "Are there still world buffs tonight?" And then um, I honestly, I just completely forgot. So. But uh, yeah. Poor lore, man. I woke up feeling bad still. I woke up feeling bad still, man. Just uh, gut wrenching, man. Absolutely gut wrenching. Yeah. Yeah, but like we always say, right? We just come back stronger. We just. And I and I think he, I when I looked earlier, he was he was already he had played today. So if you come here to the guild and you can kind of see. I don't even know how to do it. Last online. Hmm. I could have swore I saw him online. Maybe I didn't. Or maybe he was online with a character not in the guild. I don't know. I don't know. I cycled through some of my characters earlier. I was on Epic Glory, making myself some bags. Adamic. He had um. He had stuff for my warrior. So. so Epic Immortal is gonna have some gear and some linen bags. I had just enough to make a, few, a handful of bags. Mage wheat. Cured ham steak. Okay, cured ham steak. Soft banana bread and pumpkins. Like They're all kind of the same thing, taking up three bag slots. Winter's Bloom and Peace Blight. I don't think I have an alchemist. Let's see what Winter's Bite's going for in the auction house. It's even worth posting it. Man, your boy's normally an auction house guru, but I have not been playing the auction house at all. And, uh, so these are going for, they're not going for too much, but... 
stick them on here. Even my add-on doesn't. Is, even my add-on's not set up right. What the heck is going on here? It's all jacked up, really. We'll go 69 on all of it. 69, 69. Are you out of your mind? 69. All right, let's do it. Peace Bloom's got to be going for nothing. Yeah, five copper more than what the. We're sitting on 25 gold. Your boy was contemplating looking at the auction house for some what gear, but... For you? I don't know. We're not going to do that yet. We're not going to do that yet. All right, Tenaris, huh? Tenaris, uh, let's just make sure we're not forgetting anything. Uh, we could run at Uldamon if somebody wants to. We could heal it. Uh, we could grab all those... Well, we could get some of the Zulf Rock busts. Oh, we were out in Feralis. That's what we were doing. We were out in Feralis. I need this and that. Oh, these are all crusty boys. Wild Lion. Wild vines gone far. Wow, oh, it's a stack of five, a stack of twenty. Silver. I mean, is it even worth posting it? Maybe for somebody, right? Looking for three more Zulfrock, need DPS and heals. And people are dying like crazy already again tonight. It's not a good sign. Not a good sign. You going to bed, Sam Solo? Okay. How come your brother's crying? Your mom's doing his nose. Yeah, did you get your breathing treatment? Did mom do that for you? Ask her to do that for you, okay? Ask her to do your breathing treatment. I love you. You need it. They okay, say, so Dad, Dad asked if you could do my breathing treatment. You're not even in your pajamas. Careful, Papa. Okay, I love you. Sweet dreams, okay? I'll check on you later. Players getting crushed tonight, everybody's dying. Players getting crushed tonight, everybody's dying. Yeah, man, it's crazy. Hide your kids, hide your wife, Penny Blanco, been killing everybody up in here, yeah. Not good, man. This guy said his drinking is gonna be joining him soon. Hey, we're drinking too, but we're drinking Red Bull and uh, Guava. So we're drinking like here. Alright, so do we go to Feralis or do we go to. I don't know, I feel like going to Blue Bay actually. I, I, I want to fly south versus north. It's been a good day, but it's been a long day. I, um. What did we do? What did we do? My one year old's not feeling the greatest. Like, my. All of us kind of have like a little allergy thing going on. Like all day long, I got that post nasal drip down the back of my throat, and uh, took my allergy meds. Kids are on Sam Solo's on his allergy meds. The one year old's just not—he's not feeling good. So I played with him a bunch, and I uh, and I held him, let him take his nap. We we we, we hung out. The wife and. Um, the daughter and Sam Solo, they went ran some errands, they did a target pickup order, they went to the library, they went to, uh, what else did they do? Oh, they have that local pizza shop up here called Theo's, 
It's in the city. It's not too far from here. But uh, they went and picked up. I ordered pizza. They went and picked all that up. So we had a late lunch, early dinner at pizza, and we hung out for a little bit. And then um, she took them to Culver's to get the uh, like the free ice cream scoops. It's actually custard. It's frozen custard. You buy enough of the kids' meals, you get these little tags, these little tickets, and you can turn in tickets for a free scoop of ice, uh, custard. So she went and did that. So we just got got done having some custard. Did the taxes while they were gone, so it worked out really well. And, uh, man, I'm so glad I got that done. You just you don't even know what a relief that is mentally. And yeah, actually the printer is out of paper. I had two sh I had two sheets of paper left, and uh, I know everything's stored electronically now on your local hard drives or up in the cloud or whatever. But it, it's always good to have that printout just in case. And um, so we got to get some paper tomorrow. No, oh, it was good. An absolute, an absolutely re relief. I am tired though. We'll see how long we go. We're going into overtime, that's for sure. We're at least going past 10 o'clock. I would love to go toward it. Would, you know, whenever I get on, I like to go at least two hours. Okay. I feel, I feel two hours at night is fair. Of course I'd like to go three, four, five, six, seven. I like I would like to go as absolutely as long as I can. But uh I'd like my streams to be at least two hours. That's what I shoot for. Sometimes only an hour and a half. Just what it is. I'm a dad man, I'm a husband. I got my dog. Milton's doing good today. In fact, he's, he's probably gonna need to go out depending on how long we stay on for. We'll have to take a break to take him out, but no. Been fun, man. What have you guys been up to today? You guys do anything fun, interesting, exciting? You just chill. Sometimes just chilling is really fun. I watched a couple more episodes when uh, I was holding my one-year-old. I think it was like an episode and a half of uh, Wheel of Time. It's a show that's on Amazon. It's it's okay. It's okay. I almost feel like I'd have been better served watching a movie, but. never know how long the kids are going to be asleep for. And when I start a movie, I like to watch it all the way through, right? It's hard to start a movie, stop it, and then come back and pick it up again. Oh. So the TV shows are kind of okay. Yeah, I'm out here. Man. The moon is the moon rising? Is the is the moon actually rising, or does it just stay like that out there? <laughs> Southbound cow town. Pretty warm today. Tomorrow it's supposed to get really nice. It's probably going to be our best day. It'll be our warmest day of of 2024. That's for sure. Um, you've been binging Fallout. Yeah, I saw that Fallout was out there. I know, I know lots of people were big fans of the Fallout games. I've never played a Fallout game. No, never. Never, ever. But uh, Walter Guggins is in there, right? And some other people from the Justified TV show? So. Now, JR, let me ask you. As somebody who's never played the games, do you think I would enjoy the series? I'm guessing I would. I'm sure you get more out of it if you were a dedicated, you know. You actually played them, but. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? A buff is about to drop? That can't be true. That's got to be a glitch. There's nobody here. There's literally nobody here. Yeah, you think so? If you're a fan of sci-fi and post-apocalypse? A booty bay buff is about to drop right now. 
I mean, the people, the guild dropping it, they all must be on uh, Yo Mama Island. Is this really going to drop? Yeah, here it comes. It's literally going to drop. And ladies and gentlemen, we just got the Spirit of Zandalar buff. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I absolutely cannot believe it. Wow. What are the odds of me coming here versus going to Manitha? I said I wanted to fly south to Booty Bay versus north, and we got it. That's crazy. Nah, man, I haven't played any of those. No Bethesda games, no Elder Scrolls. Look at your boy's a one-trick pony, World of Warcraft. That's been it. The only other game I've played in the last 19 years on the computer, other than World of Warcraft, has been a whole lot of Diablo 3. I played a whole lot of Diablo 3 during the end of Mr. Pandaria. And, uh, yeah. No, I've played a bunch of games on the Nintendo Switch with the family. But yeah, man. Wow, was Bennett. Oh, they're asking, is Ani dropping? That's a really good question. They're saying, yeah. I mean, if the next year is dropping, I'm stoning uh, Stormwind. I'm going to get it. Here's what we can do. We can go, um, they're looking to tip a tank to run Scarlet Monastery, they're going to pay him 10 gold. Yes, it's dropping. Some people said no. Which one is it? Which one is it? This guy said yes. This guy says no. Hardcore delete is corny. They hide world buff drops and cancel if anyone finds out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand why, why they would do that. Like, you should share that with the community. I get it, your guild earned it and all that, right, type of deal, but...
we could go tank. We could go tank Scarlet Monastery easily. There's nothing in there though that I need. Bunch of hardcore elite players here. Snapper, that'll be the next big one. Fun fact you just read Alter Higgins. I thought it was wasn't it Walter Guggins? Isn't his name Guggins? He's never played Fallout and has no intention of playing it, so it doesn't influence his acting as a ghoul. Interesting. Interesting. And maybe I got it mixed up, maybe it is Walter Higgins. Yeah, we got Heaven's Light. Yes. Oh, spell check gotcha. Okay, cool. It's level 18 bone snappers, man. Look pretty nice. Heaven's oh, yeah. like four, 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 and four. So four times four is 16. So that's 21. Yeah, see the stats are good, but this does more damage. Hammer of the Northern Wind. Roll blade. Roll blade's where it's at, boys. Roll blade. How much it costs, though? Alright, well, I mean, we've wasted time. We could have been on the boat already. Bring back world chat. Hey, maybe we drew head north this time. <laughs> Excuse me. That one came too fast for me to uh to mute the mic. So sorry about that. Ooh. Yeah, definitely allergies, man. I think it takes, what, five to seven days for your allergy medicines to build up to full strength? I don't know. Your boy took Benadryl for a long time, but Benadryl knocks you out, right? But Benadryl really worked. Then I switched to Claritin, and Claritin was really good. But, you know, all the doctors and everything, they push Zyrtec now. And, uh, but Zyrtec really makes you tired too, man. It makes me tired. I take a Zyrtec and I'm knocked out, so... I switched back to Claritin, and I don't know, maybe it's not as good. But. And I've changed all of our Dyson air filters. I just changed the furnace filter a, couple, a week or two ago. So, excuse me, in anticipation, you know, of the allergy season. I will say that, you know... We're up north, right? So we're in a pretty rural area. We're kind of like, we're in a small city that's right next to farms, right? You get off the freeway, you're in farms. Half the trip up here, you're driving past farms. Like, it's it's very rural. It's very nice from that perspective. But you can go, you know, 10 minutes one way and you're in a city, so. We have everything, Target, Walmart, you know, Home Depot, all your fast food restaurants, you name it, right? It's, it's all there. It's not like we're totally rural. 
But the allergies are different than they were in the city. And when we lived in our apartment before we built our house, just having a couple of the Dyson Air, Dyson fans with the air purifiers going, man, I never needed allergy medicine, ever. Never, ever. And my boys, man. My daughter, hardly any issues, ever. Ever. She hardly gets sick. I mean, she's older, right, than the, than the four-year-old and the one-year-old. Every once in a while. But it seems like... The, it seems like myself and my two boys, man. Always something going on. I will say it was nice not having to pay Uncle Sam this year. Normally, the past several years, we'd get some money back from federal, but whatever we got back from federal, we had to pay state, right? It still come out a little bit ahead, but not not like this year, man. This year was really good. So I don't know if something changed or what happened, but that'll be nice. This is up in visions already. She's a planner. She's like, I need to open a savings account. So all the kids are going to need clothes for winter. She's already, like, we just got out of winter, but she's already thinking about their winter jackets, their winter boots, all that stuff. I need money for that. I'm like, definitely. Yeah, it's fine. Let's get what you need. Let's get the kids what they need. Grateful for being able to do it. I remember when I was in college. And the first two years of college, while I was in school, my program that I was a part of, my scholarship program, I couldn't work. And that was really, maybe it's just the first year. That was really hard for me because I've had a job, you know, I started working even before I had a work permit, right? Like, <clears throat> your boy, as soon as he could work, I was working. And buying all my own things, too, you know? Not just clothes, but, like, your toiletries, you know, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, all that stuff. Anything I could do to, to help my parents out because we grew up poor, man. We really did. I remember when I was in college that first year, like I literally had zero dollars, zero, I had zero dollar bucks. If anybody out there watches Bluey, I had zero dollar bucks. And hey, my daughter's very excited. I guess a new episode of Bluey's coming out tomorrow on Disney Plus and it's 28 minutes long. If you've never seen Bluey, man, and you have kids and you have the opportunity to uh, watch Disney Plus, man, watch Bluey. It is good for people of all ages. I was watching it today with my one-year-old, man, and I was getting choked up in a couple episodes, man. They're so heartfelt. Man, and the way that they... The way that they break down very specific, challenging life situations or complicated life situations, man, it's so brilliant. It's 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 such a good show. But uh, I totally forgot what I was saying. It was my bluey sales pitch right there. back to me. Oh, when I was in college, right? My first year. Couldn't work. I could work I could work like over winter break or whatever, right? And I did. I went back to my old job at Burger King. Your boy was the Burger King. Like, we've had these conversations about you know, I handled Burger King. But, um... And I remembered because I had worked I don't know how it, how it all came came to be. I couldn't work like August through whatever winter break was. But I had worked my senior year, right, from January through... I, I probably worked January through August because I had to go to a summer school. Oh, I probably only worked like January through June. I had to go to summer school for the program. I remember I only had like a week or two off. And then I worked winter break. So however many months that ended up being, six or seven months, and uh, I remember getting my tax returns back, and I was so grateful I went to Target. I, it wasn't a lot of money that I got back, maybe a hundred bucks or two hundred bucks or whatever. I remember going to Target and being able to just buy my deodorant, toothpaste, like stuff that I really needed, and uh, just how thankful I was, just how thankful I was for that. 
Yeah. Moments, you know, there's, there's, I think everybody in their life, they have key moments, right? Impressionable moments, things that they remember that stick with them and that helps shape them to be the type of people that they are. And I remember that, man, just being so thankful that Uncle Sam took my money and get, and I had to file my taxes to get it back. But when I did get it back, man, it was, uh, it was good. I remember, I, I, I can vividly see myself walking out of the parking lot with my bags in my hand, going to my car and getting in my car. And I was just like, yeah, man, I was able to do that. Yep. And as soon as I could get a job again, I sure did, man. I sure did. I worked as many hours as I could in college. Even before college, right? Like when you're when you're a teenager in school, they only allowed you to work. I forgot what the limit was. It might only been like 24 hours a week. <laughs> and I maxed that out every week. I worked Mondays, Tuesdays. We went to church on Wednesdays. And then I worked Thursday, Friday. So four, 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 and four. So I was 16 hours. And then on Saturdays, I'd work eight hours. 24 hours, man. I worked I worked five days a week. Yep. I loved it. I remember getting my checks that are only like 250 bucks, 275 dollars a week. I thought, holy crap, man, what am I ever? Like, this is amazing. <laughs> and almost all of it went to car insurance, car payment, right? Catan, or I guess we do have some. Yeah, let's go down to Gazgatan first. That quest to turn in. Now, 46 coming down here. It's a 51. Happens. We'll be able to do this. You don't have to fight anybody to do this. But there are elite stone giants there. Alright. Just had somebody hit level 60. Congratulations to them. Lamisha. Slept good last night. No alarm. I got up and the sun was out. It was like it was seven something. Like man, I gotta take the dog out. That's the first thing I thought about. Yeah, see, it's 50 degrees outside right now still, which is really, really warm for us. Tomorrow, tomorrow it's gonna be 73 degrees Fahrenheit, 12 degrees warmer than the high today. Tomorrow's gonna feel really nice. Is WW3 over, guys? What is that? World War 3? 
me? Can't be talking about some crazy stuff, man. Welcome to the chat, everybody. Happy Saturday night. I hope everyone's doing wonderful. Hope the first part of your weekend has been good to you. Good day today, man. It's a good day today. All right, well. A lot of these are Tenaris quests. Or, uh, Tenaris quests. Zul for rock quest is what I meant. <laughs> Good Tenaris quest. Del Nadras. Talk to me. The thirsty goblin. Keep it real. So I like this quest right here. Let's do a mall compound. This one's. I don't know if these ones might be too tough. <laughs> yes. Yes. Growing more and more each and every day. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Glad I could help. Now, uh, the thing here is, I need to dump a quest. Someone need the princess. Not gonna do that one. Yo! Right back! <laughs> Glad I could help! Alright, so see what uh what right else back. is popping off here. Do 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 What's up, Dirge? Oh, that one. Be good. Time is money, friend. Keep it real. Keeping it real. You are made out of, huh? I got the best deals anywhere. I think you're made out of pixels. You don't. All right, here we go, folks. We're heading south in Tenaris. We will see Marion Rivet Seeker. In a few short hours, my 24 7 on call for the week will be over. And I cannot wait.
Now, I read a lot, and I've been reading a lot, about these uh, AMD driver timeouts that I get. So it kills my YouTube encoder usually. And um, I've done all kinds of stuff to try to fix it, and it works for a while, and then it obviously it stops Stop. working. Right back! I'm gonna come back over here. Right he wants me to go to Ratchet to get his uh his dealio. Let's go all the way down to the bottom here to Uldum. See Uldum could be like an instance. Like there's stuff that's not finished in the game. We talk about that a lot, and that's how come people have been asking for Classic Plus, like give us People didn't really want Season of Discovery. Now, now that it's out, people love it, right? I enjoyed the first phase a lot. A lot. I thought the first phase was awesome. Second phase definitely was hyped for. Third phase I've only played once. But people want World of Warcraft Classic Plus, right? That being said, Blizzard's doing all kinds of weird things, man. Unique things, right? Look at Plunderstorm. And now look at this. Wow. This Miss the Pandaria remix thing that's that's coming out. People are playing it on the PTR. It's interesting, man. It's interesting what they're doing. We're playing the OG, the original, with some changes. Oh, that's why I want to go to his workshop, because if I go to his workshop, I can start picking these things up that I'm running past. Or did that quest, that gas, I'm going to have to dump a different, another one here. Tremors of the Earth, like... I'm not going to be able to do this by myself. What am I doing? Well, going right back to where we were. I'm going to grab that quest because I can pick these things up. You don't need to wear the detector, right? I mean, it, it helps, but I mean, you just find these bumps in the ground and you just pick them up. You need 30 of them, I think, right? Yeah, 30. on the way down here. Worth it. We're going into overtime.
Like in Season of Discovery, this would probably be something, right? Probably something here. There's a lot of these little stone things in here. You know where the ogres are? I'm not doing that quite yet. 46. Got augured. 48. Mage, 46. Iron over here. This is all bugs. The gaping chasm. Lots of people want to do um, Scarlet Monastery. Let's get to the mixer and see what all this is all about, huh? Make sure we can still click our buttons with precision. Still a bummer, huh? About Lord dying last night. Oh, that sucks so bad. I, if you look at my reaction, man, I legitimately almost broke down and cried when he died, man. Oh, it got me so hard. Like, it just it hurt so bad, man. It got me right in the feels. And to be honest, I haven't really analyzed what was going on. I didn't. I just, uh, I just, I made the long, the long segment clip of it. Maybe if I go break it down into like maybe like a, like a three, three or four segment, sixty second dealios. I don't know though. We'll see. Yeah, the Altar of Zul and Lord's Demise, that's what's out there on YouTube. It's out there on Twitch, too. If you, want, if you like watching your highlights from Twitch. Okay, so... When we go down over here, we gotta be super careful here, man. To not pull these ogres. Or not ogres, but like they're giants. They're literally giants. Like that dude right there is an ogre. <laughs> Dudes are ogres. I don't need to mess with them. I don't need to kill those dudes right now. <laughs> Alright, but where we are going is in here. It's too far away. See what I'm saying here? All right. You guys see what I'm saying? 49 elite, 50 elite, 49, 50.
We did it. Now, we can go over here and try to get some of this stuff done too. But we gotta go to Ratchet and Iron Forge. Let's close this. Yeah, this dude's just out here chilling. Prospector gun stand. Say hey, homie. What's up, bro? He's just right here. You know? Not a care in the world that guy has. see your mounts like drink anything or eat anything or granted my mount I like I summon magically right but I suppose all mounts are summoned magically but mine is legitimately a spell versus you know buying a mount These are the dudes we gotta kill over here. Main dude's up like this. We do need brutes. Let's see how we can do here. be one situation epic light versus a dune maw brute do we have what it takes do we have what it takes not if you don't give yourself blessings of kings that would probably be pretty helpful huh Easy peasy. Let me fight two at once. Dude's swinging twice as fast. Drop another consecrate. Hey, auto attack simulator is what it is, folks. Taking it easy with the shield, the one headed mace. Is it not telling me when I need to cast that? Yeah, here we go. This is what we need. Oh. 
hearing things. <laughs> Freaking me out. Try to eat again. We gotta kill us in this cave, so. To get that hammer of wrath pop up, that's what I need. Where's the dude I gotta kill? 49. And we're gonna get him. Best believe it. Your boy ain't no punk, man. Look how tiny she is compared to this. Insane, right? It's absolutely insane. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to go on a 1v1 situation. Epic Light versus Gormarok, the Ravager. Think we got this, huh? Gorok, the Ravager. All right, here we go. Leroy Jenkins. All right, do anything special? Got a very cool looking weapon, huh? So far, so good. We're gonna keep the heat on. And ladies and gentlemen, that dude went down like a sack of potatoes, man. Wasn't even hard. Oh, don't get too cocky, right? You're starting this fight without full life and full mana. Could be a bad, bad move. We got him, though. Alright, so we need... Run. We're 3 of 10 on the Brutes and 2 of 10 on the Enforcers. This fight's much closer. <clears throat> Ogre, Warlock, Enforcer, Brute, Enforcer, Enforcer. That feels like it was a two on one situation right there, right? Maybe we should mount up. I'll grab this guy. Feel okay right here? We're in the midst of it, boys. We're in the midst of it. Like, this is where your, your heart's pumping, right? Hey, when I say boys, I mean girls, too. Ladies and gentlemen, people of all types, artificial intelligence, robots, your pets, anybody out there watching your boy stream right now, I appreciate you, man. 
two minutes away from overtime with Epic. Distress Beacon, it's the last thing I'm gonna use. Throw that, tr I'm gonna throw that thing straight in the Trizash. Ah. Uh. Should we, should we see if we can just peel one of these off? Not so bad, right? Forgetting my strategy, I've been forgetting my strategy and how I want to do this. I just, I just remembered. I do want to judge. I do want to judge my seal of the crusader. That way, I can really whap them with the hammer and wrap. Yeah, it'll give it more damage. Up to 126 more damage. Yeah. Forgot about that. Remember for a while my hammer it wasn't finishing things, right? I'm like, man, that's really that should really be finishing things. I think it's because I haven't judged in time. Like I wanna judge before this thing fades away up here. I'm using my judgment. Officially in overtime. It gets them for three seventy three. Let's see what it gets them without it. Put kings back on though, just yet. Okay, okay, we need four more brutes and five more enforcers and Garmarok already went down. I feel like we're in a real good spot right here for these dudes. Let's get it.
the other day. I felt like I was going to sleep really good at night. I feel like that again. I feel like I'm going to sleep really good tonight. I won't be on call, so the pressure of that's going to be gone. Oh, hey, I don't know if you guys um, follow me out on X, but if you don't, today was my one year X anniversary. Yeah, they told me. I would have had no idea. But yeah, I've been, I've been posting on X for one year. And we're coming up on my my first uh, YouTube stream is was on I want to say April 23rd my first stream so we've been we've been at this almost a full year yeah out on the YouTube Twitch Twitch we probably been we've been just a little over a year never did find out the exact day for that but hey man we got a year's worth of World of Warcraft hardcore content out there I'm proud of that it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. I met a lot of cool people. Got to play with a lot of cool people. Yeah. Scroll of Agility 3, we'll put that on right away. Why not? Let's use it. Alright, now we're gonna we're gonna tango with the enforcer boys. Boy's not, uh... Rescue this thing. I ain't doing it. It's this it's this, this exact one. I'm not doing it. Okay, our uh waystone just faded off. Let's go ahead and put up reapply that to the mace here. Let's go get this. Of course, that was gonna happen. We could have, we could have predicted that, right? Almost done, man. Two more brutes, two more enforcers. We got this wrapped up, and they're all right here. All four of them. Should we pull all four at once? I'm just kidding. But them are jokes. Them are jokes. Maybe it's too soon to be joking like that. This fight's a little bit tougher, huh? Come on, Mr. Brute. 
Oh, I did that totally wrong. I wanted to judge it instead of recasting it. You like that though. Oh, and we wanted to eat. Wait, one of these. Now, here's my question Do we go take on both the Brute and the Enforcer over there on our last kills just for the fun of it? Do we try? Is that a bad idea? I think I feel like it's a bad idea. <clears throat> oh, when that enforcer turned around, I thought he was coming, man. I thought he was coming. Oh, I did. And I would have gave it a shot. I for sure would have gave it a shot. We use our paladin tricks, right? We got him. Drop it again. I think we do the two. Hammer and wrath up. And ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, that is an epic light ding level 47. That is an epic ding level 47. Our highest level hardcore World of Warcraft character ever. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we've been sticking points in holy. We need one more point. We need one more point to come down here if we wanted to. Or or we could get more Righteous Fury. Or we could start messing with Conviction. Do we want Illumination? like I want to go Conviction, personally. spend it right now. Thanks NAD. Appreciate that man. Welcome to the chat baby. Welcome to the chat. That questy boy is all done. How about that? How about that, folks, huh? We did it, and we leveled. Excuse me. All right, we got to go to Ratchet and Iron Forge. Turn in these quests. 
go to Ratchet first. What's this dude doing there? The greater firebird? We sold, we sold those herbs we put up there, at least one of them, on Red Mail from the auction house. That's cool. Like I said earlier, man, I haven't done anything with the auction house on this character. And what I mean by that is, like, I haven't really been, like, trying to get... I haven't really been trying to sell stuff, right? I have bought some stuff off the auction house, like my my weapon and my shield, right? All the plate gear she's wearing we bought at level 40. This character is just hardcore. Not self-bound or solo self-bound. Just straight up hardcore. We got it off in time. How about that? Thank you, Blizzard. Skinning is at 288. We take a look at the skills that pay the bills. Mining's at 238, skinning's at 288. Yes, indeed. And we're sending all that leather to Epic Vision, the leather worker. That's how we do it about this time. How come we're not mounted? Tired. Hi, Choose you? your reward. Six, eleven, and four. Or seven and thirteen. What kind of shoulders, what kind of healing shoulders am I currently using? Five, ten, and six. Six, eleven, and four. So one more stamina, one more intellect, but at the expense of two spirit, right? Way more armor. It just goes to show how good those berry land pads are, right? Stick 11. Now, I would take one more stamina and one more intellect over the spirit. I really would. I think that's... I think that's the move. Let's take these. We'll sell them. I think that's what we do. It feels right. Get rid of that. Why? Because we ain't using it. Oh 
Oh, she's 46 and she's still rocking the... Time is money, friend! Paladin hammer. Keep it real! Oh, that's the only way I keep it, bro. That's the only way I keep it. Here to sell. Oh, do I give a deal for you? Right All right, Ratchet, right? Everything else that's here is for Zulf Barak. Great to meet you. Great to meet you, too. Costs. Six silver and sixty-six copper. Six, six, six to flat a ratchet. And the flight time is four twenty. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't make this stuff up. Definitely tired. Turn the sin, we'll head over to Iron Forge, we'll see. Kinda hoping I get that second win, man, but Red Bull and Guava have been down. We gotta make it. Two more minutes. Two more minutes, people. Dos minutos. I need some gamer fuel. I need some gamer fuel. What do we got in here? <clears throat> got the crackles. Oh, we got these. The sweet tart ropes. eat these things. Got a little sugary burst happening, huh? Little little blue dye in red number 12. Or what is it? Doesn't even say. Doesn't even say. Child proof. It's a good thing I'm a kid at heart. There we go. Sweet tart ropes.
It's like a licorice with sweet tart in the middle? I don't know. Soft and chewy goodness. Not so bad. I swear this dude sent us over here, but I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, it's this thing right here, right? Yeah. Stone circle. Okay. That one. Let's just bring it back to him. Should we go bring it back to him? I mean, we still need. Let's think about this here. We could bring it back to him. It costs twice as much to fly back. It's like 1360 something. Looking for tanker heels, dead mines. Looking for tank and DPS, Scarlet Monastery. Looking for more Ubers. Back to Gazgitzan. Back to Gazgitzan. We're gonna go see. What's his name? Baron Riveter? Rivets? Man, I got a little garbage can literally like two feet under here and I missed. guy saying it's wild how the whole point of this was people didn't like retail and blizzard got us to just follow them on a path to retail all over again i don't know if that's necessarily true look people wanted vanilla more than anything for the nostalgia but let's face it it's, it's the best it's the best version of the game right in some ways if you're two decades old and you learn that's what you like to play. Can't be mad at Blizzard for progressing the game the way they did. Have they always made the best choices? Absolutely not. Have they released half-finished product for us to beta test and to pay $15 a month for over and over again? Yeah. But hey, it's it speaks to the longevity of the game that they've been able to keep it, you know, relevant. And now with these new game modes, you know, Plunderstorm and this WoW Remix and all that, like... They're trying things out. You can't be mad at them for it. You know? Hey, keep Classic out here, keep Hardcore out here. I think people would really be happy if they kept Lich King servers going, right? I don't know. I think having more versions of the game definitely fractures the community, right? But it also it also allows people to play the game the game mode they want to play. I'm 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 not opposed to it at all. I'm really not. Now, 
should like Plunderstorm have like the way I understand it when this Kata Remix thing comes out officially not just PTR but officially it replaces Plunderstorm right so we're doing like these limited time things Plunderstorm in my opinion should be like a free to play game like why why have it locked behind a paywall right and then just sell cosmetics just sell cosmetics you know take like the fortnite approach or whatever you should still be able to earn cosmetics but just sell skins man sell skins or whatever you want to do to i don't know wouldn't more people play it that way you know make it free to play sell skins It'd, it'd probably make more money. But what do I know, man? I don't know. I think it's weird that they're doing the... I think it's weird that they're doing the... Cataclysm Remix at the same time... I'm sorry. The Mr. Pandaria Remix at the same time that... Kata's coming, right? I don't know. I don't. I don't quite get that. And they're on the fast train to Cata to get to Mop, right? Like, they're, they're on the... You look at how condensed the Cataclysm time frame is. Oh, and then what, what about retail? The War Within, right? Hey, your boy your boy pretty much skipped all the Shadowlands, and I haven't touched Dragonflight. Yeah, that, that Mr. Pandaria remix, man. It's got retail talents in it. It's... I was watching, um... Was it Robert Rambles? I was watching him, uh, him play on the PTR probably for only like five minutes. Or maybe he was playing Dragonflight and I thought he was playing. But I, I'm almost positive he was in that remix. He was in the MOP remix. Gushing Vortex. Hey, Marion Ribbon Seeker. Should try to find the rest of his ornaments too. Just get that turned in. Got skins here. Skin, skinny skin, skin, skinny skin, 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 scree. Thick leather. Sam Solo's calling me right now. What's up, son? I can't see you. What, what's going on? Hello? Is that Gingen calling me? On accident, like he did that on his own? My, my one-year-old's calling me from the phone. Hi, Gingen. Hi, Papa. What you doing, buddy? Huh? Yeah, what are you doing? Where's your mom? Where's your mom? Huh? Are you okay? You look like you're doing just fine. Hey, handsome baby. Hi, my handsome baby. <laughs> Alright, buddy. I love you. I love you. Bye. My one-year-old called me using FaceTime. Hey, did I tell you what this kid did? About a... I don't know. This kid was calling me right back. What the heck is going on here, folks? Hey, buddy. Yeah, dad, dad. Yeah, I'm dad, dad. There's no way that you're doing this on your own. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Into the depths. This is all sunken temple. We're not gonna grab these yet. What's up, Papa? Let's get the rest of these ornaments. <clears throat> Alright, Papa. I love you. Bye. 
Bye. Yeah, so my one year old, it's like, is 19 months now, right? He literally, I was doing, he was, he was doing something on his phone. And I was trying to get something to work. And the amount of time I was trying to adjust, like, one of the screen time settings, like the parental controls on there. I had unlocked purchases. That's what I was trying to do. I think I was trying to get something installed. And so, he had his phone. I'm on my phone. I'm unlocking his ability to be able to download something, right? Because I want to put something on the phone. Literally within the within like the three seconds of me messing with my phone and him having his phone and I unlocked something, he ended up buying an entire season of Daniel Tiger on Amazon Prime Video. And I'm like, what the heck? How is this even possible that he did this? And he did it, man. So, then I had to go put pins on everything, and it's like... Just in his magical little fingers. Now, what I didn't know... What I didn't know is I could have got it refunded right away. But... It was like 20 bucks, I was... He now has the first season of Daniel Tiger, and there's a lot more seasons. Daniel Tiger, if you didn't know. And this. Try to get mana back and get a, big, a Hodge and a heal. We want to get a big heal, right? So we want a, we want a good Hodge and a big heal. Oh, but the Hodge took the mana away from the big heal. Alright, so not, not, not quite not quite Major League gaming capable right there, but... after we do all of our loots. <laughs> so, remember Mr. Rogers? Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? This show was, man, we've talked about this a little bit on the stream before. The show was very revolutionary for its time. And not just in children's education, right? Things that he did, um, like culturally, that people have never done before, and um, uh, you know, tearing down some of the racial barriers and whatnot, but uh, I think it was uh, one of his family members, I don't know if it's his daughter or daughter-in-law or something, ended up creating Daniel Tiger's, like, the continuation of his legacy. It's all animated, it's pretty good. I hear Milton up there running around. Already, right? 
Rogers right you'd go into fantasy land right the trolley would take you to fantasy land and you'd have uh was it, was it king friday right well king friday now has prince wednesday it's daniel tiger's buddy mr mcfeely still running around delivering packages Time, they'd have like another show on after those in the afternoon called 321 Contact to watch that. Reading Rainbow, you guys remember Reading Rainbow with the barber? Stays with you, man. Love stays with you. Power of song. Can't remember what I had for breakfast yesterday, but I can remember the reading rainbow jingle partially. <laughs> All right, we're at 21 of 30 on these jokers. We need after this one, we need eight more. Really, I should just just stay around this thing and just go in there. I mean, look at the highest concentration of them are over here. That's bad. This one right here, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm right under your nose, and I'm taking it. Saturday, everybody. Happy Saturday. Where I am here in the upper Midwest of the United States of America in the great state of Wisconsin. It's midnight. It's midnight. It's Saturday for about an hour and 15 more minutes. Alright. I feel like Stuck in there. Ogres are just standing around like they're not doing, they don't even move. Can't find this turtle. I was just wondering if someone's doing it. I mean, when we saw that guy doing it, it's been a minute, right? Like, it should have been, he should have been done with it by now. I need mean, two more after that one. That's what this is. One, one down there. Right here. Done and done. Alright. Shadow Mommy. Oh, I was going to say that's counted 
his line of sight. I didn't think any of those did. Do I get hit again with another one? Do we? Guess not. Stalker. Speaking of Dune, I definitely want to check out the next one. And I heard it was going to be available pretty soon to uh, either rent or buy digitally. But, I mean, look, unless you're made of money or have, you know, disposable income that you can just spend 30 bucks on it immediately, which, I'm, I, which I understand is cheaper than going to the movie, right? One person going to the movie by themselves getting popcorn and a soda is way more than 30 bucks. figure you have a family night, you spend 30 bucks, four people get to watch it, whatever. I'm gonna wait. But I definitely want to see it. Talk to me! Keep it real! Keep it real! Alright, so... Is this... 5 Intellect 18 Spirit Staff worth it? Look at this chess piece, man. It's way less armor. I got this. But it's that plus the shield, right? Five intellect, twelve spirit. So twelve, twelve and eight. 20 spirit, 5, 5 and 20 plus 15. Yeah, not worth. Hurry back! Hurry back! Keeping it real! Keeping it real. Okay, well. I mean, I guess we. Time is money, friend! No. <laughs> we don't want to grab those yet because we want to get all the Zulf Rock Quests, and there's plenty of Zulf Rock Quests still over here. Not only that, we got these pirate quests to do too. There's three of those there. It, it might be time to go grind on some pirates actually. That might be the next the next move here. The first iron forge, iron forge to turn in this one. I don't know what we get out of it, I forget. If we're going to Iron Forge, we could just stone, because... Right, doesn't it make sense just to stone? I mean, we could fly to Ratchet, take the boat across, or really, the Smith will take the boat across and then fly down. Chili, right? That's what we were looking for, maybe. Get uh, spices too. Let's let's just go back this one. Then. White iron porch from here. Don't see why not, right? Feels like the right move. What do you need, Al? 
house. I've got a you need something? Be careful. Our druid wants me to talk. Bro. Safe travels. Like, what the heck would she know about the Arch Druid in Darnassus? I mean, she's an innkeeper. I guess a whole lot of people would talk to her. I don't know. Just seems like an odd. Get on the flight path and then we're going to we'll go take out Millman. Why do you call him Millman? That's what Sam Solo would call him forever. Millman, I'm going to say Milton when he was two, so he called him Millman. Millman! Fifty-two degrees outside. That would be weird. You know what that means, right? Bugs are gonna start coming next. And buggies. You guys like bugs? <laughs> I'm not a fan of bugs, man, at all. Yeah. Vision. I kind of feel like the second wind is is coming here. Like I'm feeling pretty good right now. It's always that's always positive. Action and uh, hold on, no cam, and I'm gonna be right back. Enjoy your interface free Azeroth flying experience.
right, everybody, we are back. We are back. Dark did his uh, did his business. His number number one and number two. So it's all good. It's pretty warm outside. You could hear the neighbors. One of the neighbors was out in the back. I don't know if they're having a little get together still or what, but. It's 11 o'clock at night and they're outside chilling, so. There you go, historian. Watch your back. Okay. Let's speak with the high explorer. <clears throat> Magellan. That's no, not Magellan. Meglas. Well met. Be good. Thank you. All right. Well, the question now is: do We go to Darnassus first. Whatever we do now, they're all far away, right? So that's kind of the bummer of this. Could try to go get the heart, but that's the, getting the heart's too hard. You need, I need more. I need help with that. Paralysis could go do paralysis. We could. Out, everybody thanks for hanging out happy Saturday for another uh, another hour here I almost made a coffee I came really close came came this close to making a coffee Young Forest Bear got a level 8. Hey, I've got two Young Forest Bears. Not one on one, but... You fight a boar and a boar gives you all you can handle, right? At level 7, level 8. And then a bear jumps in at the end of it, you know? You're out of, you're out of life and or out of mana depending on the class you play and you're... Sayonara, see you later, adios. I gotta hook up my hard drive. I got an 18 terabyte hard drive sitting there. All my hard drives on that computer are filled. Hard drives on this one are filled. I gotta get it all, all on this one. I actually like to get a second one. That way I, I'm mirroring them in case it fails, right? It's really just to store all of my videos. So as I'm streaming, I'm recording, right? Even though Twitch, is recording and so is YouTube. Twitch ones eventually go away and I'm sure at some point YouTube is just gonna be like can't have all these out here but I don't know. Either way I'd like to have some some archive footage and I'd actually like to start editing videos like make proper videos. I have so many ideas but it's time right it's it's really about time. Now we could go we could go right to Darnassus like it wouldn't be that bad. What would be bad, or what would feel bad, is flying from Darnassus to Gasketsan, right? That'd feel bad. Yeah. Do, 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 do.
right, here we go. On the Moto, really it's the Ruthian village, then you fly from the Ruthian village to Darnassus. Actually, it takes us to Auberdeen, and then Auberdeen you fly to the Ruthian village, and then you gotta... Yeah, you guys know, you guys know. What is, what is this dude doing here? Is this a 60? 33. What kind of staff does he have? Oh, that's the staff of the Purifier. Yeah, you get that one in Ashenvale. The Paladin there. He appears to be a caster, huh? There we go. Boop, 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 boop. What's going on, YouTube? Appreciate you guys watching your boy here. What is going on, YouTube? gonna be here and do we just run across we run across the dock to the boat or do we run the long way down the dock and go get the flight path the boat's there the boat is there will we make it will we make it nope oh really really come on that's bogus that's bogus kind of like when you're going to get your connecting flight right and if it would have just waited five minutes for you airlines used to wait for people now they don't flying man flying is such a racket let's go to cancun once a year and um started going to fly straight out of Milwaukee direct flight to Cancun no questions asked early Saturday morning right and then you would come back also on Saturday because that's the way the timeshare was set up Saturday to Saturday and you would come back you know mid-afternoon direct flight is really easy breezy well that got changed so then it was driving down to Midway, you know, past O'Hare in Chicago, and they would have direct flights. And it was okay, but it wasn't as good for sure. It was way more of a pain in the butt. Then even those started going away. Then it was to go to O'Hare, and then you had to take, you know, connecting flights. Like, you could fly from Milwaukee to Chicago, then to Cancun, but the cost of that versus just... It was cheaper. It was cheaper to drive down to Chicago the night before, stay in a hotel, get shuttled from the hotel to the airport, and fly out. That was cheaper. And then your car would be there, you know? A little more time consuming, but... I don't know, man. It just... It got worse and worse and worse over the 10 years we went, you know? auction of winner's bite sold. So I sold both of those Irby boys. Let's go. Let's go 
You'll see Arch Druid. <laughs> You're never gonna believe this, but the innkeeper sent me. Yeah, how about that, huh? It is on Goral soil. I knew it. I knew it. I suppose I could have just looked. Once Tarnassus got burnt to the ground, like this music was gone, right? They reused this music in retail on the new uh, Elven City. Does anybody know? I'm very curious. I have vision that she lacks. Speak quickly, huh? I have urgent matters to attend. About 20 Angoro samples. Yeah. Hey, getting you know the whole this whole Angoro thing where you get the samples and then if if you are an herbalist opening up the samples, you actually get some pretty good stuff. As far as like potions and food and uh, juice. So I used to do that on all my guys once, once they got around level 50, even before. Because you can only open them every... forget what the cooldown is. But yeah, man, I would buy on Goral soil like crazy. Because the stuff that it would give me would pay for itself. You need like the bag of seeds in the Angoral soil, right? We're gonna go see how much it is right now. Oh, man. Get messed up right here. Where's the Octum House at? We gotta go further. Ah. Not over here, right? Yeah, this is the Octum House right here. Goral soil. Stack of 20 is 4 gold. Wow. Doesn't seem like it's worth it. Another four gold on it. There's no way. Oh, you know what we could do. Can we learn heavy mage weave bandages. Not from the first aid trainer, though, huh? Probably only from the dude in, uh... Fairmark. Alright, so here's the question. Do we fly from here to Teneris or Feralis, right? Like, it's a long flight. It's a really long flight. Where's my boat? Not taking the boat, I'm taking the air. Although we could have took the boat and then go take the other boat and then fly, maybe that's the better way to go. Ten minutes. Thirteen minutes. Could stop in Theramore. <laughs> I mean, geez Louise. We could stop in Theramore and see if that dude can train us.
question is, do we go to Gazgatan or do we go... Or we just go right to right here. And, uh... Farewell. Courier, High Wilderness. Feather Moon, let's go. Let's go, Feather Moon. Alright, we'll go ahead and go with a little bit of, uh, take my big head out of the way. Do a little bit of Alt-Z action. You guys can just enjoy the beauty of Azeroth. I'll be right back. back. Alright, the altar of Zoo Lord's Demise, which has only been live for a little while. It's got five views already. Not bad. If you guys haven't, if you guys didn't know, my good friend, my buddy, old pal, Lore, he and I were questing yesterday out in the hinterlands at the, about to climb the pyramid up to the top of the altar of Zul and uh, his level 42 druid bit the dust, man. Yeah. Very, very sad. put a clip I just put the whole segment out there
We're almost there, everybody. We are almost there. Bring my uh, big dome back into the picture here. <laughs> About to land pretty soon. Let's go a little Alt-Z action. <clears throat> Alright, 
We have landed. The eagle has landed. So we could go do that. We could grab these two quests and go get the courier, right? We could go give that a shot. We could also go kill the yetis and these guys over here and just leave this for now. Well, let's just let us take the boat across. Should be honored. Hmm. So your boy's gonna do a massive network overhaul here in the house. Right now, literally, what we are using is a is a TP Link router, okay? But it's the AX11000. It is a beast of a router. It's got the 2.5 gig WAN inputs. It's got eight um, one gig ports. Like So it's got it's the router and the switch in one. Two of those ports you can link aggregate if you wanted to hook up a NAS to it at two gigs. And then I also have um, a little eight port switch hooked up, another one gig eight port switch because my 2.5 gig switch died. And this computer, that computer, and the computer in there, and a soon-to-be another computer are all run at 2.5, so we can send the NDI signal across them all for OBS. It's very interesting, as it seems to not matter. It seems to not matter. Like, for some reason... And I don't quite understand how this works, and maybe somebody out there is a whole lot smarter than me, okay? But from this computer right here, to that computer right there, and if I go... Here, let's just show you. If we go just chatting, you see this pink, this pink box right here? Okay, that's the Ethernet status, okay? It's really hard to see on the stream. Like, um... But... There's a line, there's a line like right here, okay? So like if you're to take two thirds of this here, this line right here is the 100, the 100 meg line. So even though it's not running through a 2.5 gig switch, it's still receiving like 1 1.7, 1.6, 1.7, 1 I just missed the boat. Oh, the boat just got here. It's still somehow getting over gigabit speeds, and I don't understand it at all. I don't. It's working. <clears throat> now, I read somewhere, okay, that in some of the gig switches, they really can support 2.5, they just don't advertise it. And so I don't know if that's what's happening there, but yeah, it blows my mind. I say all that to say this. Got the new Unify, the Ubiquiti Unify Cloud Gateway Max. It's a gateway, right? That's really like a router and a switch all in one. And it has it has the 2.5 in, right? And then the rest of the parts on there are gig. But that's going to end up being for my home system. I'm getting a lab that I'm going to be setting up that I'm going to be able to utilize 2.5 gig, but I still need a switch. So. I think I know what I'm going to do. I think I know what I'm going to do. Not 100% sure yet, but I think I know what I'm going to do.
Let's go ahead and take my big head off the screen, huh? <laughs> there we go. That's what you guys probably want to see. The actual game. The game itself. For the love of the game. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, I got that second wind. How about that, huh? We were dozing for a, a couple moments there, man, but we got the second wind. Yo. Yo. Have a good one. Glad I could help. Uh, I'm really, really, I'm helping you, right? So let's not get it twisted here, okay? I'm going to be helping you. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to eat. <laughs> we're going to give this a shot here, folks. We'll go down the coast. I also wonder if it's worth doing the frost resistance aura, I don't know. Everything's gone. Where's everything? There's nothing here. This ain't gonna just be smooth sailing down to the courier, is it? Fire and snappers going. Here's a dude right here. Well, 49. Let's see how this feels. Back up. Definitely a level up in difficulty, right? Like, no question. First thing that we needed, though, so that's good. You know, do we go Rock Pounder? Just to see if it's better. I'll try zapping this dude. Straight mess. That dude's a forty eight. Feels a little safer. Oh, I wish we could fish in that wreckage. Our fishing's probably too low. Yeah, this guy's chucks the frost bolts, okay. So 163, let's take a 24, 24, 24, 16. Of course you do.
know if we can fish here. Probably not, huh? What do you guys think? Too low. Ah, oh, it hurts my heart. Seven. We'll stick with the we'll stick with the lower level ones, right? Seems to make more sense. It's just the knockback from these guys could be bad. So I take that into consideration. Right, these guys give us water. Oh, and it's that's decent water. It's decent. We'll take it, right? Big mouth clam. Residue here. Enchanted water. I'm out of room here. So much stuff in the bar. Come on, hit him, kill him already. Thank you. Oh, resisted my Hodge. Resisted my Hammer of Justice. ladies and gentlemen I think I'm gonna drink a potion it's because I have them like why take the chance right oh and then I got literally nothing out of that that was 
was a tough one. That was a tough one. just wonder. I kind of feel like I want to put my points here in Conviction. Oh, I forgot the judge in time. Kind of like a double grind, right? Taking out these dudes and those dudes. Close to the courier. This is a forty seven. Chilling up here a long way from home, huh? <laughs> Close fights, man. Nothing. 
That's the worst, that they actually give you nothing. Look at that thorium. Can't get it. Out of range. It's too far away. My skill isn't high enough. We gotta be two fifty, I'm guessing. Out of range. It's too far away. Two forty five. I'm close though. I'm close. That's a bummer. that we're seeing thorium out here. Oh, very cool. Suck so bad you get nothing. It's the worst. Like a, that thing's coming all the way down there. Wow. Probably would have aggroed it.
guy doesn't have too much light. I'm just pulling these dudes. Like, I don't understand. What, what is he thinking? Like, yeah, he had to drink a pot right there. Like, he wasn't he wasn't thinking at all. That's trying to invade my space. Who's invading my space? Okay. I'm not teaming up with them. I'm not. some thorium over there that I can't mine. How about that? <clears throat> Another warrior. Warriors are making it happen, huh? Maybe do some more gamer feel. Cadbury cream egg. I don't think I'm too much of a fan of these, to be honest. It's been a while since I've had one. We need a lot of these giants, man. Someone just died here on the Forgotten Coast. Cursed wizard. 
killed by a seal and that's a literally right here. Green gun. Level 43 gun. Big giant standard water, like you would never know how big that dude is, right? Critical strike there. Another one. Back to back crits, baby. It's already feeling good that I put that talent point in there. That's him right there. Dead. Oh, that dude that died is right here. Wow, man. Wow.
do, 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 do. Let's keep a trucking. I do see that my food buff's about to drop. <laughs> she was a little monster heal. Of course it was. getting there little by little it's now 12.04 a.m. happy Sunday everybody happy Sunday maybe it's already been Sunday where you are maybe it's about to be Sunday in another hour or two but from me to you where I am to where you are Happy Sunday. Excuse me. A whole lot of parian action going on here.
mistake because your boy's tired. I pulled him on. This is not a good situation. Alright, topped off on the mana there. Boy's tired. Now, that could have been a fatal mistake. We just need two more blasted water cores. We need a bunch of mini miniaturization residue, though. A bunch of it. Blizzard. I just wanted one. Alright everybody, I know it's kind of anticlimactic, and it's probably not the best idea because I'm going to have to go back over here. But we're still in the storm when your boy's really tired, and uh, man, we went almost three and a half hours. So that's pretty good, an hour and a half longer than I wanted to go, so that second win definitely kicked in. How's this dude dead here? How's that dude dead there? I don't understand that at all. But hey, like I always say at this time, everybody, be good, be kind, and remember to have fun, and we'll definitely catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.